So we're down to the last eight. The competition you sense rapidly heading towards its big climax. Dash for the finishing line, the showpiece final. Welcome to our live coverage on quarter-final day. It is good to have you with us. And you can see that the atmosphere is building very nicely. Super noise, grand level of expectation, and that is only rising as we head towards kickoff time. Port City of Porto, and this unmistakably the Estadio do Dragao. Blue, certainly the colour. Everybody standing for the national anthem of Italy. down the gauntlet with that anthem now to match it There is a, a perceptibly greater sense of urgency from both sides here with uh, a place in the last four on the line. Well, look, when you reach this stage of the competition, you begin to think you can go the distance. Now, the big characters in either dressing room will be stressing the need to find whatever it takes to get through. Has everyone got the substance and character to make it happen? These are the questions that both of these sides have to answer today and one side will obviously do it that bit better. So it's away we go then. Well, the name Chiesa would, of course, be familiar to followers of Italian football at the turn of the century. Chiesa Jr. may not be the prolific striker his father once was, but he does share several of his traits. Well, yeah, someone who prefers a wider role, but just like his... Oh, no, to me! Oh, he's really drilled it. Well, crucially, he ensured that the shot was kept low and it nearly, nearly came off. Plays it out to the flank. Chiesa. for space out wide and he just whacks it away Jorginho Italy playing high up the pitch here very much taking a front foot approach no change to the score nil nil it remains Jorginho. Now it's Chiesa. Chiesa plays it in. And it's hoisted clear. Could move up a gear here. Seibelt. Baumgartner. Truthfully, it was hard to see any better outcome there. Looking to force his way through. He's found his man. Chiesa! Oh, that was nice, but not quite the end product required. It didn't quite come off on this occasion, but it only needs a gentle tweak.
Baumgartner. Going for goal! Goal Austria! And it's Austria who go ahead! Oh, the invitation was received with such a clever run. And he had that defence in, in utter confusion. Austria take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Seems now to be all about wits. Well, when you have the personnel to create in wide areas, then they need to see as much of the ball as possible. of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Italy get it back again. Chiesa gets it into the middle. Only partially clear. Jorginho. And it's Jorginho. That is terrific skill. We've reached half time. So there you have it, a close sport half of football. But that still had its moments and ultimately produced just one goal. A decent game up tonight. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front end for the half time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Austria for the dressing room in possession of a 1-0 lead. Here we go again then. Austria really need to go and, and grab another goal now, Peter, if they're gonna go on and secure this. Now it's Chiesa. Seibelt. Chiesa provides an outlet. Shot a goal! Oh, good delivery, almost the perfect outcome. Now that was a slick move, and there were several options in the box to uh, to pick out. Italy are making a change now. Demarco. Marco drives it forward. Jorginho gets it out to the wing. Played out to the right. Italy showing a little more urgency now, and to be honest, Peter, this is what's required. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Spot on, Peter. It's Barella. Sabato simply had to make that count, and he did it with some authority too. Wonderful.
Baumgartner. Now it's on Naltovic. Naltovic floats one over. That intervention was very necessary. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Bastoni. Chance to break. And it's on now to Shakes to shoot. Oh, and that should have been two. Arnautovic has reacted in utter shock here. For him, the keeper has pulled off the impossible. Jorginho. Forward it goes. Chiesa pushes to get on the end of it. A heavy challenge. Chiesa. Defenders on the back foot. That is it, the referee has seen it up. Austria through to the last four, just two more steps now, they have got a crack at it. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, Peter, I'm sure a more comfortable margin would have been preferable, but you can't expect to get your way all the time. I think it was a win earned through game management, and there's absolutely nothing wrong.